It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we'll see the only two teams to meet in the Super Bowl three different times. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Pittsburgh Steelers under the lights on Sunday night. EA Sports in the National Football League. Welcome you to Akershire Stadium here in the Steel City of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Good to be in the booth with my partner, Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Welcome, and Greg, this is one of those that's worthy of prime time because wide receivers love the spotlight as much as any position group in the league, and we got two guys who shine under the lights here tonight. And I think where it's going to be really fun and get interesting to watch, Mike, is in those critical situations, the games on the line, third down, red zone, gotta have it moments, there is no mystery. Both these sidelines, they know exactly where the ball's going, and they're just going to say, I dare you to stop them. These are two prime, elite wide receivers in the National Football League. Night game, prime time, they're looking to put on a show. The veteran Chris Boswell, ready to get things going. Off we go from the Steel City. Very good pickup. Returnable from the four. And that's well done by the kicking team. He's only able to make it past the 15-yard line. Cowboys coming out. As usual, it's Dak Prescott leading the way. Led the NFL in touchdown passes, Greg, a season ago. Already his ninth year at the helm for the Cowboys. There aren't many quarterbacks in this league who come under the microscope as often as this guy does. I mean, he isn't perfect by any means. But you can certainly do a lot worse than having him lined up as your guy leading your offense. He has the athleticism to bail himself out of bad situations, but also the arm talent to make every throw on the field. So as long as he protects the ball, that's been the biggest thing in his career. If he can do that, man, he's as good as they come in this league. Here's second and nine. On the draw, here's Elliott. He'll pop this ahead for about four, but it will set up third down. shotgun it's Dak. he'll try and get there on the ground you know this defense worked all week defending this quarterback as a scrambler as a runner but sometimes it's just hard to simulate until you see him in real life his speed his ability to create we saw him get him here early on a big scramble he's able to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive From the 35, it's first and 10. Here's Elliott. And he'll get forward for about a yard. Patrick Queen, the linebacker. They're on the tackle. Here's a second and nine. Shotgun snap for Prescott. The open man is Tolbert. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here's a third down and four. Operating from the gun. Here's Dak. He's taken down inside the 10. Big time pitch and catch there on third down to extend this drive. Feels like they've got to come away with six. You want to strike first. It'll go a long way in determining how the rest of this game plays out.
Great chance to make an early statement here on the road in his first and goal. Jack going to run with it himself. A short game down to the seven. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here is the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. A lot of scrimmage, the seven for second and goal. Back to throw is Prescott. Under pressure, and now he's going to go down back at the eight-yard line. What once looked like a promising drive has suddenly hit a little bit of a roadblock here, Mike. They're in scoring position, yes. But now on third and goal, following that second down sack, this defense has a shot to come away, only giving up three. So can the defense come up with the early stop here on third and goal? To throw is Dak. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. They let a golden opportunity slip away on that one. That's the matchup that they wanted. They just couldn't quite capitalize. On fourth down, it is Pro Bowler Brandon Aubrey for the Dallas field goal. This about as short as you can get. Pick is good. And the Cowboys are out to an early 3-0 lead. A lot of times as an offensive player, you come off the field, you're not thrilled to end a drive like this with a field goal. But I think in this case, you can label it a success. You were able to operate your offense. You were able to quiet this crowd just a little bit and come away with an early lead. On that opening drive, we'll see the response as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Court Darrell Patterson. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Steeler offense ready to take the field for the first time. They're led by their quarterback out of Ohio State. First-round pick, Justin Fields. A lot of guys love sitting here, Mike, and nitpicking his game. And I, I would agree, some of it is fair criticism. But there's one thing you can't deny. This guy is electric with the ball in his hands. One of the best open field runners, regardless of position, in the entire league. But for him to take the next step and develop as a quarterback, he needs to match that arsenal that he has with his legs and develop a little bit more in the traditional passing game with his arm. If he's able to do that... The pressure gets there, and down he goes back inside the 20-yard line. Well, Mike, the other day we heard how the offensive coordinator wanted to start fast offensively, but here so far it's been the pass rush in the defense who's gotten out to the quick start. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. No run. This is Jalen Warren. And he will get forward for about five yards. That sets up third down. Now Fields. Oh, got him again the second time with a sack on this opening drive. What did this defensive play caller tell us all week, Mike? They wanted to come out and set the tone of this game, dictate the terms of how this game would be played, and, man, through the first drive here, boy, have they ever. So the Steelers ready to kick this one sky. Kevontae Turpin 
to return for the Cowboys. Oh, but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. The Cowboys offense ready to get going with their second possession. And the field goal on the opening drive took the early lead. See if they can improve on that here. 3 0 our score as we begin first and 10. The drive starts with a run, and it's Elliott. And that'll be a pickup of three. Second and seven. Now Prescott. That's complete to Elliott. And he's going to have a first down. He's forced out. Nice pickup of nine. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. To the outside, looked in by Lamb. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. They'll come up now for second down and four. Prescott. Cook's able to pull that one in. And he'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. Throw again, Dak. This one caught by C.D. Lamb. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback, recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short, play action pass, you can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground, play it safe, pick up the first down. He was trying to get it to C.D. Lamb, and it'll lead to a second down. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. A short throw caught by Ferguson. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. And they're going to have enough to convert here. And it sets up first and goal. Prescott again. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Brandon Cooks with that pass. 
And it'll be second and goal. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location. And they got some big plays in their future. And that ball incomplete over the middle. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. Two incomplete passes now lead to this third down and goal. To the air again, Prescott. Initially looking to throw it for the touchdown, couldn't find anything, so Greggy takes care of business himself, using his legs for the touchdown. Well, it was clear early on, Mike, that this defense was expecting the pass, and after matching all the receivers in the end zone, this quarterback realized quickly it was his legs that he was going to need to rely on to get the ball across the goal line. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Cowboys are out to a 10-0 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Patterson now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Steelers' offense ready for their second possession. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Fields. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. From the shotgun, it's Fields. He finds Austin with the ground. A first down. It will be a gain of eight. Play action now for Fields. He'll get that complete. It's still picking. opening quarter. First and ten. Off the play action. Here's Fields. And he's caught downfield by Pickens. And he'll be out of bounds at the five. It'll be first and goal after a pickup of 27. This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest.
They go play action with Fields. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. Well, if there's one thing they know here in Dallas, it's the ability to rush the passer. And it seems like up and down that defensive front, they have body after body. And now they add Neyland in the draft. Can he replace Dorrance Armstrong and not only be strong at the point of attack, but also continue to add to that sack production this Cowboys defense has thrived on? All the way back at the 14 now. Second down and goal. A run with Harris. He'll take this one down to the 8-yard line. Fields to throw. And on third down, that ball incomplete. Just a couple plays ago, Mike, it felt like a touchdown was kind of inevitable. They were doing everything they wanted as they marched the length of the field. And then as they got down here close to the red zone and that field condenses, they started getting sloppy in their execution. Now, what do they do on fourth down? Do they try to keep their offense out there and extend the drive? Or do they settle for three? He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Steelers are on the board. It's now 10 to three. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through and they get three. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. The return starts from the five. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. So now here are the Cowboys. Their offense ready to make their way back onto the field. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Cowboys move out in front by the score of 17 to 3. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Patterson now to return it and he'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drive the Steelers offense back onto the field for their next possession they trail by two touchdowns so the time is now got to get that rally going it starts with first and ten
Fields. This one grabbed by Austin. They'll work now on second and four. runner Mike just to get back to the line of scrimmage I think most backs around the league that play would have resulted in a loss but not this guy continued to fight continued to do everything he could to prevent the loss but it still stopped for no gain Fields from the gun on third down That's caught by Jefferson on the right side. this time they've looked his way tonight good time to do it it's a first down To throw is Fields. He'll go right back to Jefferson. They connect again. On second down, a run with Harris. He'll manage only a couple. The all-pro Micah Parsons there for the stop. Here's third and seven. Back to throw is Fields. He'll let this go for picking. That is knocked away downfield. Incomplete. He made sure not to let the receiver get behind him. Third down stop sets up fourth down. Nothing scarier for a quarterback, Mike, than to seeing that ball popped up in the air. It feels like that ball is in the air for an eternity, and all you hope is that it just harmlessly falls to the ground, and fortunately for the offense, that's exactly what it did. And we will not have a return here. This one angle out of bounds. The Cowboys offense and veteran Brandon Cooks getting set for this next possession. The lead is a couple of touchdowns as this drive kicks off first and ten. Pistol now for Prescott. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. On second down, it's that. Catch is made. That is Schoonmaker. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. A shotgun staff for Prescott. He keeps it himself. Here 
Buccaneers, second and six. Operating from the gun, here's Dak. A throw there on second down, going to be incomplete. Anytime you see a receiver at this level miss a ball that easy, it's just concentration. They just take it for granted. All of a sudden, they're thinking about what their next move is or what they're going to do after the catch. And instead of just focusing on first things first, secure the catch, put the ball away, then become a runner. On third down, Prescott. That is caught. Books gets the grab. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. So far here early, Mike, the key for this offense has been their ability to maintain possession by converting on these third downs. It's going to be a big storyline the rest of the way. This defense has to find a way. When they force third down, they got to get off the field. Dak will throw it here on first down. Back down the field for Lamb. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They'll throw again. Dak. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, with great, great separation downfield. But now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. Again, Prescott to the air. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. The Steelers' offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. This will begin at their own 13-yard line. So work to do starting with this first and 10. He'll look to throw. Nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. This is the epitome of team defense. Not only are you able to rush the passer and put relentless pressure on him play after play, but the coverage on the back end is so tight. There's just nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. You see him just continue to hold the ball, that extra second in the pocket. And with the way these guys are pass rushing, that's all the time they need. Defenders to jump. On the handoff, this is one. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. is Fields. And that is incomplete. The offense just couldn't seem to get anything going that drive. They knew they had a long way to go taking over possession that deep in their own territory. You want to pick up that first down and see if you can capitalize some momentum. Instead, the errant throw brings up fourth down and 
They're going to have to punt it away. A fair catch called for and taken out beyond the 45-yard line. The Cowboys offense and their big play wide out getting set for their next possession. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender at him, maybe. Look at what he's done. Whatever the defense has tried the first half, it hasn't worked. So they come to the line for first down and 10. On play action, here's Jack. That's complete to Kevontae Turpin. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. This defense just gets punched in the mouth on that one, Mike. And it just seemed from up here that not everyone on defense was on the same page. And the offense was able to take advantage of it. The defense has to clean things up here in a hurry, because if they don't, they could be in for a long day. They'll run Zeke up the middle. And he'll work forward to about three. It's second down. shotgun it's that he's got that complete to Turpin and the Cowboys are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them down to the one these are the worst I, I had a couple years Mike where I swear I got tackled inside the one yard line 10 times and then you look back and you're like man how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard now for him individually not ideal but Right now, they're on the doorstep of the end zone, and they got to find a way to put that ball across the board. The big guys are on. Jumbo set here for first and goal. He slams it in there, and he is in. Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown, Dallas. This defense continuing to give up points. Greg, you've been on offenses like this. This has to feel great when you're on a roll like this. And it's really twofold, Mike. First and foremost, just like you said, every offense in the league works all week. We want to start out fast. We want to establish some early rhythm and play our style of game. They've certainly done that. Now, on the flip side, what does it do to your opponent? It takes them completely out of their game plan, knowing this early in the game, they're chasing points. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. It's a return. Here comes Calvin Austin. And he'll be brought down right around the 25 yard line. Here comes the Pittsburgh offense now, heading back onto the field. They find themselves down three touchdowns here, needing to flip the script in a hurry. And they'll start it here on first down. Working out of the gun, it's Fields. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. From the shotgun, it's Fields. That'll be caught by the running back, Warren. He'll get about six before he's taken down.
We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Fields. Quick throw on target to Pickens. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. I think they're going to have to be more creative here on the back end with the types of coverages they show this quarterback. When you just show pre-snap, it is straight man coverage, and then you stay in it once the ball is snapped. It just makes it so easy on these quarterbacks, Mike, to just find the matchup that they like and exploit. And he will score. George Pickens. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Chris Boswell on for the point after. The kick is good. And the Steelers are able to cut into the deficit. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Following the kickoff, we have an injured player on the field. Halftime is looming, so the athletic training staff will get a chance to look him over during the break. Set to go now on first and ten. Now Prescott. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. In what's clearly become a passing league, Mike, if you're not actively rushing the passer, you have to be able to hold up in coverage, and that's especially true at the linebacker position. Great job here getting in those passing lanes and being able to break up that ball. second down throw for Prescott. A short throw caught by Ferguson. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Got on first down. That's complete to Elliott. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. That's a timeout for Dallas. It's their second as they'll stop it just a little bit over 30 seconds to go in this first half. Second down and eight. To the air again. Prescott. That's to the middle of the field and caught by Cooks. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route. And then next thing you know, he gets to his break point. He breaks in. 
And that ball's put right on the money for a big pickup. That ball is caught on the sideline and both feet inbounds. A big third down pickup for a first down. 11 yards as they move the chain. for the field goal now it's Brandon Aubrey this from 45 yards away he is two for two that kick is good and the Cowboys gonna tack on three more extending the lead here late in the first half all right Mike we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports Studios and our halftime report we saw the vet with plenty left Ezekiel Elliott putting together a strong first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Steelers offense ready to get back at it. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards any completions this has just been a dominant pass defense performance here and everything starts with the rush the quarterback's uncomfortable the clock gets sped up he's got guys in his face it's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast and right now they're teeing off and taking advantage of it on the ground it's warren to start the drive the hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. They face second down and seven. Now toss left side for Harris. Traded him for trying to escape. The defense, though, was on that. And finally, they bring him down behind the line. This ball carrier just didn't want to go down. And this defense, they had to throw everything they had at him, Mike. He just kept fighting and fighting. But finally, when they were able to get him on the ground, they were able to do it for a loss. Fields from the gun on third down. He's got his man. It's picking. Remember, he had the touchdown catch from last time he had the football. Here, he's got a first down. On the handoff, here's Harris running right. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Off the play action. Here's Field. This offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. So after surrendering their sixth sack of the game, I looked down on the sideline, Mike, and found their offensive line coach. He grabbed his headset, removed it, and he slammed it on the ground. And truthfully, I don't blame him. His unit has been getting worked up front all day in pass protection. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Now Fields... Inside the opponent's 35. I really like the rhythm that this offense 
has found. I mean, that third down, that wasn't a layup by any means, but they made it look easy. Everybody was exactly where they needed to be. The quarterback did a nice job working through his progression, saying, okay, I understand this is zone defense. I understand where the limitations of the coverage are. I'm going to get to that spot on the field as fast as I can, deliver the ball, pick up the first down. He'll tuck it and take off. And they'll finally run him down, but he takes it inside the 10 yard line. What I like the most here is just the decision that when he wants to be a runner, he commits to being a runner. And he's able to weave his way downfield, pick up the first down, sets up first and goal. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. So now, from half the distance closer, here's first and goal. They go play action with Fields. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. He was looking for George Pickens there, and it'll bring up second and goal. So instead of celebrating a touchdown, he's just heading back to his huddle, trying to keep his head up as everyone kind of looks at him sideways. If that ball hits your hands at this level, You've just got to make the catch. That's what your quarterback's counting on. That's what your teammates are counting on. Oh, good blocking, and he's in. Justin Fields. Touchdown, Steelers. That his second touchdown tonight. for the extra point is Boswell. It's up and through. And the Steelers are able to cut the deficit to 10. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Kavante Turpin on the return at midfield they're going to be set up with a short field what a tremendous kick return when you get a big return like that the offense takes the field with a lot more energy. They can see the end zone. They know they've got a short field. It brings a boost to the entire sideline when the special teams can have an impact play like we just saw there. Here's Dak Prescott and the Cowboy offense set to go again. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. First down, Prescott. There's Ferguson, the tight end. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give them an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. On second down, it's that. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Operating from the gun. Here's Dak. He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. And they are in great 
shape. He's taken down inside the 10. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. They've got it at the eight. First down and goal. Here's a run. He's going to force his way for a yard or two. But looks like this one's going to be coming back. That's on the rookie, Cooper Beebe. The shotgun snap for Prescott. The open man is Tobin. And he's going to be taken down right around the nine. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Nine yards from the end zone for second down and goal. The toss here to Zeke. He did a good job of making one man miss but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yards. I'd like to see that running back be a little bit more decisive with his cut. Like you can see, he was a little hesitant. And once you're late making that decision, you just kind of get strong laterally. Great job there by the defense, and he has no choice but to take that loss. Taking off, he'll try, and he's into the end zone. Dad Prescott, touchdown Cowboys. And that is now a pair of rushing touchdowns. The quarterback giving it to them, Greg, with his legs in this one. And we're starting to see, Mike, why this week this coaching staff told us they're encouraging this guy to do this more often. His ability to be a passer but also a rusher is an element to this offense that is hard for defenses to account for. Now, Aubrey for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Cowboys will extend this third quarter lead. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Patterson now to return it. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25 yard line. That's where the offense will take over. George Pickens and the Steelers' offense heading back onto the field. And you see the numbers for him into this third quarter. They just pop off the screen. He has been open and electric throughout. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. They'll start this on the ground with Warren. And a nice run there on first down, getting eight. Setting up second and two. Brought in motion. Now a second down throw for Fields. A lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. Pat Fryermuth, the intended receiver. And it's going to bring up a third down. And that is incomplete. Missed opportunities like these are a big reason why they find themselves down double digits here in the third quarter, Mike. 
Points on this possession could have gone a long way towards making this game competitive, but instead, poor execution, especially in the passing game, and it's another wasted drive. Now, fair catch called, and he's going to take it out beyond the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense and Dak Prescott set to take over again, and he's had it going in the first half really had his way with the secondary they have been powerless to stop him now they're trying to keep it going they'll come up here first and ten on the play fake Dak and he can't hang on through the contact it's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He's just unable to secure the catch through the contact. And really nice job timing that hit up by the defense. And at this point, all you can do is get up, get back in the huddle, and hope your quarterback gives you another shot. On the give, it's a Maybe a couple there. It's third down. shotgun it's Dak and this ball incomplete on third down and barring an aggressive decision here on fourth down it just seemed like a really wasted possession to go three and out not able to pick up a single first down not only do you not able to gain any field position advantage it really takes a lot of the wind out of your sails as you find yourself jogging off the field and the punt team coming on Fair catch called and made right there at the 25-yard line. The home team's offense and George Pickens out for their next possession. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. now for fields well let's give credit here to the coverage unit Mike there was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback he had no choice but to just tuck it down himself and he's able only to pick up a short game look him up on a second down and eight Working out of the gun, it's Fields. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. From the shotgun, it's Fields. He'll get this into the hands of Austin. Inside the 10. And what an effort after the catch. He goes all the way. 72 yards. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. A terrific job all the way around, especially after the catch, Greg, to take it to the end zone for a touchdown. I'm just so impressed by the acceleration of this receiver, Mike. He catches what is a short pass, and he's able to turn it up the field and take it all the way for six. That is an impressive play, run after catch. Boswell now for the extra point. He knocks it through, and the Steelers are able to cut the deficit to ten. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away. 
on the return, here's Turpin. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense ready to take over possession of the football. Their lead is 10. They go back to work trying to add to it. It begins with first down. To start this on the ground with Elliott and a nice run get him about nine it'll bring up second down again here's Zeke and some good running there that's a first down up to the 43. Now, Prescott. Open man. That's the veteran, Cooks. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. It takes a certain guy in that slot position to be willing and able to go across the middle of the defense on those in-breaking routes. You can tell this guy, he doesn't care. He is fearless going across the middle, and he's able to secure a nice catch. Play action now. Prescott. This one is caught by Turpin. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Mike, you know what we used to call those plays? No, 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 yes. Because that's exactly what was going through the mind of the coach on the sideline when the quarterback decided to throw that ball into really tight coverage. Here's first and ten. To throw is Prescott. This is teach tape for man defense, Mike. I mean, he is not looking back at the quarterback at all. He is in the hip pocket of his receiver. He's staying in phase and in rhythm. And then he knows when the wide receiver's hands go up, attack the ball. And that's about as good as it gets. On second down, here comes Zeke. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. A gain of 11 on that one. That's good for a Dallas first down. So no shortage of offense in this one as we end the third. And Sunday Night Football continues after this. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. That's complete to Elliott. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. He pulls it in around the five. And this drive's going to continue. He's taken down, but they are set up with first and goal. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up the first down. Oh, he feels the pressure and he'll go down back at the six. That first and goal sack now changes everything defensively. Like, you imagine that you're in a four-down territory where the offense is going to try to take advantage of the field position and punch it in over the goal line. Now, 
can you hold up on second and third down and come away with forcing a field goal, which in this situation I think is a huge win. Second and goal, now it's from the six-yard line. Throwing is Prescott. This one caught at the four. And some space opening up as he works it down to the two. Chance to get him closer to that finish line. It is third and two. Back to throw is Prescott. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. You have to come down with those opportunities. You're not going to get your hands on the ball very often as a defensive player. And when you do, let alone in the end zone, those are plays you just have to make. On for the field goal now, it's Brandon Aubrey. This, about as short as you can get. Another one through the uprights. He's four for four on the game. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Austin now to return this. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The home team's offense ready to come back out for this next possession. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and 10. Fields to throw. To the outside. Catch made by Pickard. They'll come up here on second down and five. To throw is Fields. is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. So the first part of any interception is just end up with the ball in your hands, right? That's what every defensive coordinator wants. But anytime you can get yards on the return, that's just an added bonus. And that's what we see here. There's a little space, does a great job securing the catch, and all of those yards just set up for better field position as their offense takes the field. The Cowboys offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. We'll have a short field in front of them as they try to extend this lead out further. First and ten. Prescott now. To the left side. Caught by Lamb. Come up now for second down and four. Prescott. Pass completed right side to Ferguson. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground. And they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. So run it here with Zeke. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. He's going to lose a yard. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense, understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run. 
able to take him down for a loss. They'll stick with Elliott. And this defense up to the task there. Game of just two, and it's third down. Here's Dak. Here's a shot toward the end zone. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range, but do you keep that offense on the field and try to maintain possession and see if you can come away with six? Another one through the upright. He's four for four on the game. And the Cowboys add on to their lead. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Austin now to return this and they'll bring him down just shy of the 30 yard line the Steelers offense headed back to take over once more they need to start making some inroads here down two scores as they begin this drive with first down Three tight ends in the game to start the drop. They'll keep it on the ground. Strong running there, pushing his way forward to gain a couple. Second down, it's Fields. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. The whole idea of that short pass is designed to get the ball into the hands of the receiver in space and let him do the rest after the catch. But the key word there, Mike, is get the ball into the hands of the receiver. He doesn't secure the catch, so there is no run after Give him 11 on the scramble and give them a new set of downs. Having a quarterback with this ability to run is such an X factor in today's NFL. It's an element of their offense that you have to be prepared for on every single play. Here we see it on third down. Starts out as a pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. He tucks it, turns into a runner. Picks up the first down. Nice job finding the seed. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. A good spot here, second and a yard. Back to throw is Fields. This one complete to Washington. And he'll be brought down after a short pickup, but that is enough for a first down. This play is actually really well defended here. But I'll tell you, Mike, as you know, my philosophy is the tight end is always open, and this just supports my case. On first and ten, Fields. He finds Austin with the grab. Fields now on second down. This one grabbed by Austin. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. 
been tip sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. First down, Fields. He's into space past the 25. That's another first down, another big play. The defense has some issues. Gain of 18. Desperation time now setting here in the fourth quarter. This is where the urgency of your two-minute offense is so critical. How many plays can you run and how fast can you run them? Because one score is not going to do it. You're going to have to score and get the ball back and end up going down and punching it in again. They'll stick to the ground. Not much happening there, just a short game. Here's a second and nine. Working out of the gun, it's Fields. And he will score! Game on! Justin Fields! Touchdown, Pittsburgh! Greg, very big touchdown there, makes it a 10-point game, and now a chance to tighten this down to a one-possession game. Yeah, absolutely, Mike. You have to go for two here. You got to get this thing down to eight. But this offense now has given themselves at least a chance to make a run here down the stretch in the fourth quarter. Important one here now for the Steelers. They're going to try to go for the two-point conversion. From the shotgun, it's Fields. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. So they decide to put the ball in the air, which I don't mind on this two-point try, but the execution was just a little bit off, and it's not going to work out in their favor this time around. Even with three timeouts plus the two-minute warning, they're going to try an onside kick. The kickoff unit is out there. And they'll send this one away. Late in the game, this is where you see teams really start taking some chances. And boy, this was a big one, but it's not going to work out. Go, go. The visitors' offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at them has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. So they come to the line for first down and 10. The drive starts with a run, and it's Elliott, and he'll get about five. to Zeke out of the gun and he'll get this ahead gain of about four and it leads to third down so two minutes to play here in the second half Greg and I back for the conclusion in a moment You've got to consider this an absolute must-stop defensively. It's third down. That is caught. Hooks gets the grab. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10.
Here's a chance to put this game away. First down and goal. Hand off here to Zeke. This is here and a timeout. Defense going to take this one with 1.51 to go. Pushed back to the 11 yard mark for second and goal. They'll go with him again. And the defense stiffening here. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's all. Third and goal coming up. for the field goal now it's Brandon Aubrey this about as short as you can get Aubrey's kick is good and the Cowboys will add to their lead here in the fourth quarter teams ready to go once more as the kicks away Austin now to return this he'll get across the 20 mark him down 23 yard line the Steelers offense ready to see what they can do they'll start it here with a first and ten They'll drop to throw. There's that. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. And no turnover here. One of the guards able to get the football and get on it to keep possession. And I feel like we see this so often, Mike, especially with how good these receivers are after the catch. They're so eager to pick up that extra yardage. Sometimes they don't completely put the ball away, and with how good these defenders are at knocking it loose, Pretty fortunate on that one. His teammate was there. This offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. This has been a masterful game plan defensively. I mean, not only have they found their mismatches and been able to exploit them, it's led to seven sacks so far. I mean, even when the offense seems to make an adjustment, Mike, the defense just still seems to be one step ahead of them. Complete. And now we are down to likely just one more play. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. And that is incomplete. They had their chance. They took it there. Look, they're trailing late. Gotta let it fly. So wind up a turnover on downs. So it's a win here for the visiting Cowboys. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. 